What's up everybody, Tim Sykes here. I hope you are having a great holiday weekend. We have a lot of stuff to go over, so I know many of you guys won't even watch this right away, but I'm still gonna throw it out there. Watch it now, watch it later, watch it as many times as you want. Um, I just wrote a blog post with my take on Bitcoin now. Um, in case you were wondering, Bitcoin has been crashing. Um, nice 20, 30, 40% drops off the highs. A lot of newbies are freaked out. I'm getting more messages than ever. Um, it all comes down to studying charts, okay? This is not a total surprise. Um, I feel kind of, you know, validated when I said, hey, I don't want to chase this thing, even though I underestimated it, um, but I don't want to chase it. Just because you might miss it does not mean that you should then compound your mistake and then chase it because that's how you lose. So definitely read this blog post. I'm going to post uh, a link to this post underneath this video. Um, also, we have a holiday sale. I don't know if you guys know this, but you have just a few days to take advantage of newsletters and DVD guides, all 30, 40, 50, 60, 70% off. Um, I am so excited to finally release these two new DVDs, Trader Checklist Part D and Penny Stocking Framework Part D. Uh, they are pre-sales right now, but they will be both done in the next seven to 10 days. Um, I've been working on them for months. Finally, 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 we are about to release them. Um, I'm trying by year end, but it might be like the first week of January, uh, just because I'm kind of a perfectionist. But these 50% off sales will be gone when they are released, and all these other sales will be gone the first week of January too. So take advantage. I will post a link to this sale underneath this uh, video. But right now I want to talk about what's been going on in the market because I'm getting a ton of questions. Um, I've had a really good uh, past 30 days, made roughly 30 grand, you know, $1,000 a day, keeps the real job away. Um, I will post some video lessons this coming week to explain what I've been up to the past uh, week or so. It is not one of my prouder moments. Um, you might have noticed a little bit of a change in my trading and attitude the past week and these upcoming video lessons will explain why it kind of sucks but bad stuff happens to everybody and for me I don't want to hide it I don't want to shy away from it um, I'm going to make a video lesson about it it just takes a little time because I'm down in Mexico and the Wi-Fi isn't great and these video lessons are very long um, so stay tuned for the coming week I'm still profiting um, even with the bad shit that's happening to me right now um, made uh, roughly seven grand last week uh, on PETZ and MARK, two earnings winners. Uh, PETZ actually collapsed late day. I'll go over that in a second. But um, I also got to give props to my top student, Tim Gratani, who has made $500,000 in the past month. Um, a lot of people get confused by, you know, you're studying so hard, you're, you're practicing. When you're trading with a small account, it's impossible to make $500,000 in a month. Um, this has been a long time coming you know part of the reason why I say hey this is a marathon not a sprint is because I want you to get to a place where you can make five hundred thousand dollars in a month but it is not at the start um, at the start you have to focus on developing good habits and making small amounts of money the cool thing is that if you do stay disciplined if you do listen to me and follow the strategy this is what's possible later on um, when your account is bigger, when you feel more comfortable with the volatility, after you develop the good habits, and after you scale your account size. Um, just because you might make $5,000 or $10,000 your first year does not mean that you're going to make five dollars or $10,000 your second year. Um, the cool thing with learning and strategies and knowledge is that it is scalable and it is exponential. Unlike a lot of these jobs that a lot of you guys work or you're in school to work, um, and I can't help you trying to get like a five or a 10% bonus, you know, year after year with your job because your job growth, your job income growth is not going to be scalable. It's not going to be exponential. You know, you might make 30 or 40 or even 50 or 60,000 one year at your job. And then if you do a really good job the next year, you might go up 10 or 20% max. There is no way that one year at your job you're going to make, let's say, $50,000, and the next year you're going to make $250,000. That's not how the 9 to 5 rat race works. Um, to go from $50,000 to $250,000 in one year in a normal job market, you need to work on like Wall Street for like 10 or 15 years and pay your dues. Um, and that sucks. Or go to medical school for you know 7 to 10 years and then eventually become a doctor. The cool thing with trading is that First of all, Tim Gratani just passed me. I don't know if you guys realize this. He has now made 5.4 million 
uh, in what, like six or seven years since becoming my student. That averages to, you know, roughly a million a year, but his first year, he made nothing, nothing. The first nine months, he was not even consistently profitable. So studying and knowledge and education is very hard work. Um, it's very front end loaded. It sucks at the beginning, but year two, year three, year four, year five, year six, that's when it really starts to pay off. And this is by far uh, Tim Grittani's uh, best 30 day sequence. Let's see how much he's done in the past 90 days. Yeah, the past 90 days, only 637. He's also been taking weeks and months off. Um, him and his family have been traveling. Uh, he moved down to the Caribbean. They got hit hard with the whole hurricanes earlier this year. So it hasn't been a great, uh, you know, year for him travel wise, like being focused, like he's going all over the place. Cause frankly he has to, cause of the Caribbean being really messed up. But as you see in the past three months, he's only made six, only made 637,000. But in the past 30 days, when he's gotten situated in one place, he really tuned it up and made 499,000. I show you this not because you're gonna make 499,000 in any one month at the start, but this is what happens if you give me a little bit of your trust, okay? And if you understand by the end of this video lesson, I'm not finished, but if you understand by the end of this video lesson what I'm talking about, say in the comments, I will trust you. I need those four words because a lot of you guys, you know, you question me on every single trade, every single step of the way, every single lesson that I try to give you and you fight me. And some of you guys, it's just not worth it. You know, like you either want to learn the right ways or you don't. Um, I'm so tired of people with the wrong attitude who think that they're going to make 500,000 immediately or, you know, in month one or month two or even year one or year two if you're starting with a small account. Tim Grittani started with just $1,500, okay? Go back and look through all of his trades. He did not always have six-figure months. Many times he's had losses. Many times he's only made like 1,000 or 2,000. Trading is not uh, a nine to five rat race kind of like bi-monthly pay thing where you have to try to think about how many hours you put in and that's how you get paid. You have to put in maximum number of hours at first, studying, developing good habits, and then over time when there are good plays, when you take advantage of those good plays, that's when you capitalize. This whole thing is about getting you prepared for good trades because the past few weeks have been insane with good trades. That's why I'm making $1,000 a day and you're gonna laugh next week once you hear about what I've been dealing with the past week. Um, and I'm still making money because I have been prepared. Um, also gotta give props to Roland, uh, closing in on $500,000 in profits. Uh, he started the year with just 4,000, so over 100 times his money. So anybody who hates on penny stocks, anybody who hates on you know trading, just show them this, okay? Because he is not, uh, you know, a genius by any means, okay? He's not like doing something that no one has done before. He's just studying a lot, which he is doing. Very few people are willing to do that much. Um, and he's taking advantage of the plays. You know, he just posted this trade. This was a great trade on NXTD the other day. He made $22,000. He verifies it, uh, you know, two-day swing. And NXTD jumped from the twos to the fives, um, it actually went, he didn't even time it perfectly, two to eight, okay? Just to give you an idea of the kind of potential um, that's that's going on right now. This kind of massive volatility. MGTI has another uh, crazy volatile chart. This is 14 days. Let me just show you seven days. I mean, from three to eight, back down to the threes. Massive volatility on the way up and on the way down. DPW um, is another one, maybe not in the past seven days, but in the past... Ah, let me show you more. 20 days. I mean, look at this. From under a dollar to over five, now back down. Um, massive, massive, massive volatility. FTFT, if you want another example, you know, from the ones to the sixes. LFIN is probably the best example. From fucking four all the way up to 140, back down to the 40s. I mean, there is so much volatility. MARK, which was my big winner. Um, you know, in the past 20 days, very nice. I got it in the low sevens here. I didn't time it perfectly. I got it in the sevens out in the eights and it went up to the tens a day and a half later. Um, so there's just so many plays, so much volatility. If you want more G R O W, this is the past 20 days from three to six, back down to three to seven, back down to four C A N N. I mean, this is from the ones to the fives, back down to the twos, back to the fours. 
These are the kind of volatile charts that are happening right now. Oh, OTIV is another one. Uh, JRJC is another one. All these companies that are just saying, oh, we're getting into the, you know, the Bitcoin world. Look at this. This is from freaking 13 to 45 back down to 25. Uh, CLIR had a big one. LXRP had a big rip. I mean, there's so many freaking stocks that are just jamming that are just freaking going crazy. PTI, I'm just trying to think off the top of my head, like what is really spiking the most. PRELF, I had a decent one. This one wasn't as volatile. Um, LFIN is probably the best example. You know, anybody who hates on low price stocks, this is the potential when it goes from five to 120, back to 40. It's all over the place. If you look at XNet from 13 to 26, back down, I mean, you need to take advantage of this. Oh, SRAX too. This is another Bitcoin play, and this had a nice little bounce. Bitcoin, blockchain, you can hate on it, but trust me, at least just study it. This is why I wrote this whole blog post, my take on Bitcoin now, and this includes, you know, cryptocurrencies and everything. But long story short, props to Tim Gratani, props to uh, Roland Wolf. And then also, it's not just about big money too. I really wanted to include right now um, about other traders like Steven Johnson, you know, he has been such a hard worker studying, documenting it all with his videos. And he was down 4K. You know, I gave him a lot of shit for his drinking and his overtrading. Uh, he came and studied with me in Italy this past summer um, because he was trading so much. And we actually went on this badass rope swing in the morning. I brought the rope swing back to our villa and I tied him up. That was a rather um, memorable moment. And I think it really caught on with a lot of people because... He has not been over trading. I, I tied him up so that he couldn't trade. He was a classic over trader. And, you know, you can see this. I mean, this is crazy. This was his profit chart for months. And right here, he came to Italy and we really focused on his problem. This is why I love teaching in person. If you do want to learn in person, uh, email admin at timothysykes.com. Um, I just gave a class a few weeks ago in New York. We actually still have to post that video. Um, made some great trades. I'm, I'm running around trying to do an interview, um, teach people in person, and I made nearly 10 grand in a day. That video is going to be awesome. I'm excited to show that to you. I'm sorry it takes a little while. We got so much content. My video guys are a little overwhelmed. But look at this chart, okay? Nothing in his profit chart would make you think that he's getting better. But because he's losing small amounts, and you know, granted, losing $4,000 sucks, but in the grand scheme of your life, losing $4,000 is nothing if you learn good habits, okay? Think of it as market tuition. Uh, you know, some people pay 20, 30, 40, $50,000 a year for college tuition. This is market tuition. And if you control your losses, it's much less. And the cool thing is, it doesn't take four years or eight years to get a graduate degree. You know, Steven Johnson is not the, the brightest person. He'll admit it, I'm not trying to put him down, I'm just trying to be realistic. And he has worked his ass off studying and refining his techniques, and you can see this, okay, this was over, I mean, a year of losing four grand. And now all inside of two months, he's made it almost all the way back. And he says his target is 100K, calm down, Steven, okay? You haven't even gotten profitable yet. This is, that's a little insane. We still have to control his ambition and, and his emotions. But as you can see, he's on the right track. He's learned from his small losses, and now he has taken his trading to the next level. I'm excited to see 2018 for Steven and everybody else, but do not set profit goals, okay? Just take it one trade at a time. He's on the right track, but you cannot get cocky. He used to get cocky when he was making $20. I can only imagine. He thinks he's on top of the fucking world making back his little four grand when, in fact, he's not. You have a long way to go, Steven. You're on the right track, but don't you dare get cocky and ruin all your hard work. Um, also got to give props to Ed Bogart. Um, look at this. <laughs> he says, I'm a little concerned about this chart. You know how they end. He's making a joke how his chart is kind of going supernova. But the cool thing, as opposed to a uh, penny stock that's going supernova, his profit chart going supernova is because he has been a challenge student for three years, okay? And a lot of people give up after three months or six months or nine months. If you stick with it, it is amazing what you can accomplish in year two and year three. And as you can see this, Aside from, you know, Steven Johnson was just losing pretty gradually, but at least he put in a nice little bottom and his chart is uptrending. Here's Ed. He was making a decent amount, you know, but a lot of people give him shit. And even on this, like people give him shit. They're like, oh, 40 grand over three years. That's terrible. 
but it's the knowledge, it's the education. And as you can see, the 40 grand isn't just linear. It's not like just, or 46 grand, sorry. It's not just like 15 grand a year. It's like nothing for a very long time as he's learning. And then all of a sudden it starts hockey stick growthing um, up on the right-hand side of the chart because there are so many plays and because he has several years of experience. Um, look at this. Look at look at the, the hate. There was one, I guess he deleted it. Uh, there was some, there was some hater who was saying like how ridiculous it was that he's only made 40 grand. I don't know where it was. Oh, maybe it was this guy. Nothing against you or Timothy Sykes. Uh, but they're, they just don't get it. Education is very front end loaded. So 15 grand a year over three years. Yeah, it sucks. Also he's part time. Okay. He's, he owns an insurance agency, so he's not trading every single day. This is just some uh, part-time income on the side. And the cool thing is, aside from the 40 grand that he's made, you know, he has now developed the discipline. He has the process down. So year four, year five, year six, year seven, he might be my next millionaire student. That's the cool thing about this. And it's so difficult for me to explain um, but I'm glad that with so many stocks in play right now, more and more of you guys are getting it. Um, even if I'm not necessarily in the chat room and you'll, again, this coming week, you'll, you'll understand why I'll explain in depth of what's been going on with my shit in the past week. Um, you wouldn't believe what happened, but it did happen and I'm going to talk about it. Um, but even if I am not in the chat room, it's all about these guys being self-sufficient um, that's probably what I'm most proud of. It's not just about the money. It's the fact that they don't need me. I'm just training wheels. I'm trying to get you guys on the right track. I'm trying to get you guys on the right path. Um, I think I'm doing a pretty good job judging from more and more students getting it. But at the same time, you need to trust me. Um, I, there's no other way to say it. You know, a lot of people say, Hey, I want to be rich. I want to be a millionaire, but you're not willing to trust me with the marathon. Um, so I can't work with you if you don't give me a little trust. So I post these charts, not just to brag, but to show you, look, it's not just one or two people anymore. I mean, we're having dozens and dozens. And these are just a few examples. Um, otherwise this video lesson would be like 10 hours long. Mark Crook, um, he says, shout out to Timothy Sykes for all his lessons on shorting supernovas and buying into crashes. Bitcoin was no different. Huge opportunity, both long and short BTC, um, on RIOT, MGTI, DPW. So there's so much opportunity on both sides. Um, when you see, you know, this, this new guy that I'm, I'm really most excited about penny stocking framework part two, um, it's going to show you the ins and the outs of the volatility so that you get away from thinking, Oh, is Bitcoin a scam? Is this stock a scam? And instead you just start to play the volatility because you're focused on the patterns. And again, it's not going to work hundred percent of the time, but the cool thing is that these patterns do repeat. Um, this Bitcoin crash was no different than any other crash. And Mark Crook, what is he up to? Um, Mark Trades. Let's see. I have some some saved bookmarks. He's at 863,000. I think he's actually up a little bit more. He has to update it. I think he's closing in. Yeah, he hasn't updated it since November 6th. Um, I think he's closing in on 900,000 in profits, maybe even more. Um, but you can see that's very gradual. And the cool thing about his profit chart is that it's growing. He's only winning 55% of the time. So even though his profit chart is very nice, some people are like, how is this possible? You can't predict all the stocks. He's winning 55% of the time, but he's controlling his losses. This is another key lesson. And Mark has done a great job uh, helping me mentor other trading challenge students that too. That, you know, that's what I'm also proud of. We have a great community. Uh, Roland, big props to him on, on helping out uh, teaching and Steven Johnson is, is helping also. And then I got to give props to Master Roshi. Um, he came to my conference. When was my conference this year? Uh, well, let's see. So I'm filming this right around Christmas. Um, I guess it was, was it September? So three months ago. Yeah, three months and a week ago. Um, and he just passed the $50,000 profit mark. Uh, he's made 23000 since the conference. And in case you didn't realize, um, Wait, let me pull this up. Uh, where was it? Timley slash Sykes Orlando. Wait till you see this video. We did a video of my annual conference. Sorry, my Wi-Fi is slow. Let's see if it... I really like doing this with my, my students. You know, I, I like hanging out with you guys. This isn't just a job for me. You know, this is my life. 
And I want to make that very clear. I wish that all of you guys had a job that you really were invested in 100%. Here it is. So I, you know, we had the the little air gun. I was like throwing out t-shirts. That was cool. Tim Grittani and I got on the gun. Don't give me guns. I was a little too happy here. But I also passed around this rope, um, a different rope, you know, than what I tied up Steven Johnson with in Italy. Um, but we brought the rope out and it was, it's all about trying to control your emotions. And, you know, if, if a figurative or a literal, literal rope uh, gets you to trade less, that's cool because it's all about waiting for the right trades. Uh, uh, beyond what I expected. So this is the rope that I brought out. This was just a rope that we got in Orlando, um, you know, to explain this kind of weird analogy. And we passed the rope around. It didn't go around the whole room because one bad ass motherfucker named Master Roshi stole it. The energy level. I don't know why this guy's trying to bite it. This rope smelled like gasoline, by the way. It was terrible. Of all the other fellow students here. That guy. This is Master Roshi. And you can see here he smelled it and he actually took this rope home. Um, he stole it. He's a thief. Um, but the cool thing is that he, you know, looks at this rope and he uses it to help control his emotions. Did he pass it in the video? Is beyond compare to other. Oh, he he passed it and then he got it back. He, he wanted that rope. That's cool. Um, I'm just giving him crap because it's funny. Um, but let me see uh, some of his tweets here. Because he also is explaining how he's done it. You know, making 50000 He says this. As funny as it sounds, the PDT made me focus on setups and pulling the trigger on the right ones. When, as you have capital over the PDD, PDT, you can get caught up over trading easily. I also have a blog post about the PDT rule. I make this exact point. Everyone's congratulating him. I love the community. Um, he says, just be glad, able to join. It's a marathon, not a race. You see, he's like repeating all the lessons that I teach. And he really understands it. And I'm so thankful. Um, look at this. And he's done this in under three years. And now he's, you know, making 23000 in three months. So 7000 a month. And before, he wasn't making that much. Uh, there was one key comment that he said that I wanted to... Uh, Highlight, where was it? Oh, by the way, he's a part-time trader too. Uh, he says, I work a full-time job and there are times when I'm scheduled during the market hours, but I make sure to set up a watch list and review that moves during every day. And when I'm trading, it's 5.45 a.m. to 1 p.m. PST. And I study minimum eight hours a day, every day and weekends. You can study more plus 11. So a lot of you guys ask me, like, what does it take? This is what it takes, okay? And we're getting better, um, you know, showing off these patterns and, and teaching so you're, you don't have to study as much as you once did but at the same time my most successful students the one common theme is that they are studying five to ten hours per day every day um, I wish it was more an exact science and I'll keep trying to make these lessons more concise and, and more useful but you need to understand the system as a whole you don't need to understand everything in the stock market you know that would take you a lifetime but you do understand you do need to understand you know what moves penny stocks and how to spot these patterns and how to make a watch list like the cool thing is that once you learn the process it repeats every day so master roshi has been studying for several years every day and now he's finally you know turning profits but year 5 year 6 year 7 like he won't need to study that much cuz he'll have the experience too in the beginning you have to study because you don't have any experience uh, you have to kind of make up for lost time, no matter if you're 20 years old or 30 years old or 40 or 50. You know, all the years prior to meeting me, you did not have the right strategy. You did not have the right process. You did not know the rules. So we're playing catch up here. Um, and, you know, it's not a bad thing. It's better to catch up now rather than later. But you do need to catch up because every single day, every single week, there are opportunities and the vast majority of you guys are unprepared to capitalize. And part of the reason why I'm showing you a lot of these upcoming students rather than just my millionaire students is showing you what it takes to get on the right path. You know, making the first 4,000 or, you know, going from negative 4,000 to zero and getting too cocky like Steven Johnson or, you know, Ed Bogart, like making, uh, you know, 45,000. And you can see how the hockey stick growth with his profits has really tuned up. Or Master Roshi, where he's making 7000 a month. Uh, he had another good tweet. Look at this. He's, he loves it. This is what I love seeing, too. He's responding to everybody. He is not just in this for the money. 
Um, he is totally bought into the whole studying and community. And that is so, so key. Um, and the community responds. We've built a, a pretty cool supportive community here. Look at, look at how many people are congratulating him. And he says, when I hit 100K, I will feel a lot better. Calm down, man. You see this common thread like amongst all these people. They're, they're, they're happy that they're on the right path, but you, you still can get greedy at any time. You, know, you still want to make the 100,000. You still want to make the million. And you have to be careful. You have to tra take it one trade at a time. Um, so be careful with the, the 100K. Let me actually say that to him. Be careful aiming for six or seven figures too soon. You have to take it one trade at a time, always, or else the market will humble you real quick. Look at this. Look at how many people are congratulating him. I love it. And he's, you know, the rope smells so bad, but it works so well. I think I'm actually going to, at my next conference, um, give every single person a rope. Um, seriously, not to like hang yourself with, but to tie you up and, and to remind yourself not to overtrade because it really works. Um, oh my God, so many people congratulated him. This is awesome. And th this is, I love this too. Let me retweet this. I forgot to retweet this. He says, thank you. At the end of the year, I'm going back to a small account and putting 45K in the savings for a down payment on a new house. This is what trading should be used for and, and trying to control it, not trading with as much money as you can. Um, going back to small amounts is really good for you. It helps your discipline. It helps your mindset. And then you take some money out, you get a new house. You know, he's got a growing family. It's pretty freaking awesome. Um, yeah. So this was, I mean, this was just a few days ago when he crossed 50K and you can see all the tweets and the community just loving him. Um, but these guys are prepared. And if you look at Master Roshi's studying, if you look at Mark Crook's studying, if you look at Ed's studying, if you look at Steven's studying, if you look at Roland's studying, and if you look at Tim Grittani, he's not studying that much now, you know, because again, he's like six or seven years in. So he's actually one of my oldest students um, now who's, who's really proven that he's stuck around. Um, and now he's experiencing record profits now too, but he studies, you know, the patterns. He's a big, uh, spreadsheet kind of guy. So if you watch his webinars, if you're in my trading challenge, you have access to over 50 webinars that he's given maybe 60. Now I lost track. Um, he studies more in real time. You know, he hasn't even seen all my DVDs. So there's no one right way to study either. It's whatever works for you. But as long as you know, you're watching my video lessons, you're watching some of my DVDs. Um, and you're studying patterns and you're kind of testing, um, that is the right path because it pays off after year three, year four, year five, year six, year seven. You just need to get there and you need to put in a little bit of time every day. I know some of you guys are like, well, Tim, I don't have five or 10 hours to put in. That's fine, okay? Put in an hour a day, put in an hour a week, whatever you can afford to do, but understand that there is a direct correlation between how much you study and how well you do. Because that, you know, is basically how well prepared are you for different trades. And that's why I can make, you know, nearly 10 grand, um, you know, in the past week and, and nearly a, roughly $1,000 a day in the past 30 days, even with all this bad shit that's going on with me in my life that I'll explain next week. Um, you can do this from anywhere. You can adapt. You can be prepared. Um, life sometimes comes at you. Sometimes bad stuff happens to you guys, too. Um, and you just try to deal with it. But in the background, you should always be prepared for potential trades. And I missed countless trades, but I'm glad at least I nailed a few of them. And PETZ, wait, I'm, wait till you see this video. We actually filmed this live. Um, E-Trade blocked me uh, from selling because I've, I've been in Mexico and, and they put like a travel block. They, they didn't block me from entering. But then a few minutes later, they blocked me from selling. And that cost me a few thousand dollars. And Mark, I sold way too soon too. So these are not perfect trades at all. I'll review them soon. Um, but just get studying. Use the weekend uh, to you know, watch these guides. You know, Grab a guide right now and watch it. Trading Tickers is a must watch. This is Tim Grittani's DVD. 
My How to Make Millions guide is 35 hours, all goes to charity. Now I raised over $3 million for charity. If you hate me, if you don't want to like pay me any money, some people are like, oh, you, you just make money off teaching. I don't make a dime off this, okay? I just want you to learn. Um, Spike Ability is, is fantastic. Tim Decatur's is great. Penny Stocking Framework is a classic. Penny Stocking and Penny Stocking Part Deux are two basics, but these are just some of the guides that you need to study. And I'm going to be working on these next two. I think it's going to, um, you know, kind of, usher in a new era of learning with these two new guides. There's a reason why it's been taking a little while. Um, they're made a little differently than the past guides. I've been inspired by James Cameron, you know, taking longer with his avatar sequels because he's inventing a whole new technology. And that's the kind of mindset that I'm using for these two guides. That's why it's taking a little longer than expected. But once we publish them in the next two weeks, I'll give myself a two week deadline. Um, I think you're really going to love them, and I, I think it's going to help uh, reduce your learning curve even more. But for now, take advantage of this, uh, you know, cryptocurrency uh, volatility. I mean, it's it's just going up and down 10, 20, 30, 40 percent every day. Some people are like, oh, you just hate on cryptocurrency because it's bad for your stocks. It's actually fucking great for the stocks. You know, I'm trading tons of cryptocurrency related stocks. Um, I'm a big fan of stocks and the inefficiencies that are created by, you know, let's say Fridays or, or stop losses. Um, and I've gone over those patterns, you know, cryptocurrency doesn't have as many inefficiencies because it trades 24 seven. And for me, I'd rather trade stocks, but at the same time, uh, here's my take on Bitcoin. Again, I'll post the link underneath this video. I want you to read it. Um, start to think outside the box. Don't listen to narrow minded people where they specifically say, you know, this is a scam or, or this is the future. Instead, just look to say, okay, maybe it is a scam. Maybe it is the future. I don't know. We'll see how that plays out. But for now, I'm going to take advantage of the volatility. It kind of reminds me of DPW, which is kind of a, a, a blockchain Bitcoin related play. And if you look all over social media, you would think that this is, you know, the worst company in the world. Like they are doing evil things. They're like killing babies or something based on social media comments. And yet over the past 20 days and over the past 100 days, I mean, really, what was it? When did it start? The past 50 days? Yeah, the past 50 days. I mean, this is one of the top five performing stocks in the entire stock market. And yet all of social media is so negative. It's funny to show you that social media is not as good or meaningful or accurate as you might believe. Um, you know, take everything you read on social media with a grain of salt. Because I know way too many short sellers who have gotten their asses handed to them on DPW. And it's not because they're not smart people. Um, it's not because they're, they're not good traders. It's because they're trying to fight a trend. And it's because they're ignoring price action. So I hope DPW collapses. I hope it spikes up a lot. I just look for volatility. And once you start making it personal with a stock or a sector, you lose kind of your grasp of reality. And that's going to cost you money. You know, I know a lot of people also, a lot of students who might not like DPW's business model. They might not believe in it long term, but they can see the trend. They can spot a short squeeze. No different than LFIN. You know, I mean, LFIN, if you go back and look at some of the tweets from like short sellers um, and, and a lot of, you know, veteran traders, when it was in here in the 10s and the 20s, they say that this is a pump and dump. This is the worst company. It's going to crash. And then the next fucking day, it goes up seven times. So, you know, I missed it. I'm not saying I'm like all knowing, but I do see a problem with some people um, on social media, you know, not necessarily my students because I tried to warn against this, but a lot of people who have made a lot of money, but they're kind of screwed up right now with, with this whole Bitcoin and, and blockchain because they think that this isn't rational. This is all going to collapse and they're missing out on opportunities. They're losing a lot of money. Um, they're hurting their health with the stress that they're you know, bringing into their lives. I, I just don't know why you would wanna short sell companies like this. Okay, maybe if you catch it you know, in the, the hundreds or the eighties or something, because there is downside. But for me, I'm mainly long biased right now just because the risk reward is so much better. Um, it's such a hard time for short sellers. Even if these stocks eventually collapse, you're gonna have plenty of time to do that. There's no reason to fight uh, the front side or, or the momentum um, right now. You know, uh, for me, 
I just want to go with the trend. So I'll have a, a badass watch list um, later. You know, the market is closed on Monday. Merry Christmas to everybody. Happy holidays. And again, if you understand the lessons that I'm trying to present you in this video, um, leave a comment saying, I will trust you. Um, and I would appreciate it if you do trust me with your education. And also read this post on Bitcoin and take advantage of this holiday sale. Thank you very much. I'll see you guys next week.